we're going to do some opening questions, and we're going to said you already were a renter, uh, and the type of structure that you rent, is it a, um, what, what do you consider it? Is it a little house? Single family detached? Yeah, um, yeah it's a or, plain little cottage. Okay. And the date you moved in approximately? Um, let's see, was it 19, around 2009, 10? And have you always lived in Royston? Just those few years. Okay. And before that? I um, lived up here in Livonia. You were in Livonia? And how did, uh, you or your family end up living in the Livonia area. Divorce. Okay. And where you said you're from Bermuda originally. Yes. How long were you in Bermuda? My first 30 years, I guess. Do you miss it? Sometimes. Yeah? I mean, now that you're talking about it, yeah. 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 Do you still have a lot of um, family, family there? there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you get to go often? or? Um, until recently, I hadn't been in like 20-odd years. I went last year. Oh, great. That's I've never been there. Here it's beautiful. It is. Stunning. Um, uh, Being where it is, it's crazy. Like, I never knew, like, pretty much where South Carolina, like, straight (laughs) off Cape Hatteras. Yeah. Straight off. Yeah. Um, Okay. So, have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, or as part of your business, or a part of a program through your utility? No. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision or was it made for you? Well, because I rent. You rent. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you, if it was available, want solar as a rental? A renter? If he would fix it, yeah. But he'd up the rent. And you think it would up the, the oh, rent? Yeah. yeah. I heck to put new roof on there. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, tell me why you... Well, you would want it, right? Tell me why you would want rooftop solar. Because I know it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot easier on the environment. Mm-hmm. Cleaner. Mm-hmm. So to help out with reducing or... Um, reducing the emissions, number one. Okay, that would be the... I'm, I'm into cleaning up. Cleaning up. cleaning up the environment. Yeah. She, she knows my Facebook page. I'm always going on about... Trash in the ocean and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to... I mean, the third world countries, they take the trash and they'll compress it. They'll use it in their streets and they'll build houses with it. Mm-hmm. Why can't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's unbelievable. People waste. A lot of waste. Yeah. You think solar would help with the waste I think of so. energy? Yeah, and, I do. And things when like the, that. The emissions, that the coal and everything else is putting out. Mm-hmm. We're having to breathe and killing us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so you feel like the decision that you can't have solar is made for you because of your landlord. And if he did decide to do it, it would possibly increase your rent, which would... Oh, definitely increase it, yeah. And then you wouldn't even give me the time of day. So you'd have to probably move to another place. Yep. So you could... Okay. Yep. Yeah, that pretty... That can be a very restricting feeling, I'm sure. Um, yep. So you kind of answer this, but what do you think about, why do you think being a renter means you can't have solar? Is it because you can't control the price of your monthly rent or like your mortgage, yeah. you know? We're going to talk about solar, rooftop solar adoption in general. All right, I'm going to give this to you. Where do you think people adopt or invest in the most solar? Could you draw it on the map? So you can circle it, you can... Check it. You can do whatever you want. Texas wanted. and it's Texas and um, there's a couple of other countries where they have the windmills. <laughs> there's no right or wrong answer, so don't worry. <laughs> you just do not. I think it's right there in Texas. And I've seen them in other places too, up around in the north. Okay. Up in here. So the north United States. Now with Texas. What makes that community so different from people um, in well, So large Western. to start with. Okay. And they have a lot of empty property mm-hmm. to set these things up in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Like the oil fields and just set the wind turbines up. Mm-hmm. So they have more space to mm-hmm. do. Um, do you think people um, 
or putting the solar on their homes, or do you think they're putting it as businesses, or do you think it's both in Texas that are adopting or investing in solar? Probably both. Both. Mm -hmm. And what kind of people live in these communities that are adopting? Who do you think are the type of people that are adopting? Probably the more wealthy people. Okay. can afford to put them on their Okay. Roofs. Um, what about in the north? What makes the community so different from um, Livonia and Royston? They probably have more available spaces as well, and um, people are far out in the, from other people. Mm -hmm. So I think it's um, distance. So you think distance... Kind of elaborate on that. I don't, I don't want to speak for you, but is it because they're spread out spread out that mm -hmm. you need to have solar maybe as an alternate form versus running That's power lines? Thinking, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what kind of people live in these communities in the north of the United States that are adopting or investing in tech? Probably the ones that have a little bit more money. More money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same thing with Georgia. <laughs> Um, in what community in Georgia do you think people have adopted the most solar? Well, I noticed the other day when we were going out, I don't know, have you seen it on 59? I have, and that, I have heard about it, too. I don't have no idea what it is. Just a bunch of solar panels set up. Nobody can answer why. That's interesting. You don't know either. Mm-mm. And I know somebody lives right next door has no idea. Oh, Didn't really? Didn't know they were there. What? That's interesting. Is there? A, there's not a fence around them, is there? No. They're well, open. Straight out. That yeah. was going down 59 to um, going to Anderson. Yeah. I and came in that way. On the left-hand side, there's this big old field, and they're all just sitting there. And I know a person that lives right next door and had no idea they were there. Oh, wow. I said, well, you don't go any further than... How long have they been there? I have no idea. It's the first time I've been down there in probably 15 years. Oh, I wonder if they're newer or been there a while. I don't know, but I got a surprise by the time I got to Dad's. <laughs> All those buildings that used to be houses and fields and yeah. woods. Yeah. Is your dad live in Anderson? Hmm? You said... No, you... we just went over to Oh, Anderson. Dad's. No, Dad's restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah. I, I... Yeah, sorry. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I'm like, oh, I know what you're talking about now. Oh. <laughs> um, so, you think people, well, I don't know if you want to, you circle wherever you think people are adopting or investing in um, solar. And this can be, you know, rooftop solar. Or... Mainly, mainly south, I think. Is it right or <laughs> I have no clue. I've not noticed people having any panels on the roofs anywhere. Maybe up in the mountains. Okay. It's like Rabin County, like North North Georgia, Hellish. Helen. Yeah. Um, gosh, and I'm not going to know exactly on there. How about that? Okay. So what makes North Georgia different from people in Franklin County? Money. Okay. Um, they also get some pretty bad weather. So okay. if the lines are down, they've still got the panels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what kinds of people are adopting these in this people county? People with more money. People with more money all across the board. Business people and residential as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anywhere else? or? Um, I don't know. Maybe around the coastline where they tend to have storms and stuff okay. like that. So yeah, more of a yeah. um, enabling not to have lines um, yeah. and kind of. Does that really put, well, they get more snow there than they do in that area. Okay. I think. But probably around the coast. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, what about most of your close friends? Do they have solar? I don't know of anyone that does. Okay. Why do you think they don't? Because they probably don't have the money for it. Okay. Um, do you think the getting solar is the upfront expense of the equipment or installation? The installation or? to start it off anyway. Okay. Well, a lot of my people, not my, uh, 
I guess the people that I know up here are just oblivious to what's going on. Mm -hmm. So you feel like they're not informed about... They believe what they see on TV okay. or on Facebook. Okay. They don't open their eyes and talk anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like if people are more informed about the environmental people get part? off their phones and, yeah. Okay, or is it more informed about just having access and information to solar panels? Like, is it the reasoning behind, like, you know what I mean? Like, They is it got out and talked to people and whatever. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. I've not really heard anybody talking about them up here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not seeing them besides that's in... I think my power company every now and then, you know, when they send out the bills... Okay. They have something on there. I, work, I go with Hard EMC. Okay. I so they, they offer in something maybe every something, once in yeah. a while. Um, that's interesting. So it, you feel like it is accessible it, if you wanted there, to. But people don't... People don't want to know stuff. They just... So mis misinformed about or not informed not informed at all yeah okay so you think if there was more information possibly people they, don't read anymore no it's sad yeah do you think people they're just getting their information from like not credible news sources like you said Facebook um so yeah they believe everything on Facebook yeah so <laughs> <laughs> close minded yeah, so just overall. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, um, it's really interesting that I haven't, there's not a lot of solar. I haven't talked to a lot of people that have seen or know people that have solar in the area. No, that's the only thing that I'm familiar with is the field. Okay. I mean, I've seen it before. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been to Florida. I've been Virginia. I mean, they got a lot of it up there, mm -hmm. um, like around in North Carolina. Okay. You know, you see the little panels on the roofs and stuff okay. like that. A lot of the lights, street lights are up there that have panels. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm still learning a lot about it, so I, that's yeah. interesting. Um, farms. Solar farms. Yeah. Well, just farms use it, you know. Oh, agricultural, mm -hmm. like people yeah. in agriculture use it. Yeah. yeah. Um, use it. In Florida or just? Just general. Gen in general. Just traveling. Yeah. yeah. Just out of state. Well, do you have any other... Um, Anything else that I didn't cover in this that you would like to, like any opinions about it or, you know, anything in general that you'd like to share? Um, I know it's kind of a basic um, 10 questions, so um, I feel like it, don't feel restricted that we have no. to. Um, but I think need, more needs to be put out there about it so mm -hmm. people are aware of their options. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, it, it is cleaner. I'm going to clean the air up mm -hmm. because all this coal ash and everything is killing us. Mm -hmm. Have you had any problem, like any respiratory problem? Like you're not, yeah. Yeah, raspy yeah. voice. I have Lyme disease now. Oh, wow. I got that uh, just over a year ago up in Virginia. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, it's it's interesting I mean, what's in our air and, you know, yeah. we, we don't, I've, I heard something that's interesting. We don't realize we have health until we don't have it. You That's know? right. You don't, you're not aware. You're not aware of health until you have, you know, something go on. It's, it's you know, we just take mm -hmm. it for granted sometimes. So, yeah. She's good. But she's, she says she's not she on any amazing. Mm -hmm. So you're a walking advertisement for yourself. So, I mean, that's living proof, you know. I'm 62. To... I do not take any pharmaceuticals. Oh, wow. I don't even take over the counter. Really? Just supplements and stuff like that. Oh, that's great. That's great. This resource is here. I can get here. some good cold pressed CBD. I would take that. But okay. until I find something, I'm not taking anything. Yeah. Because I believe a lot of it's made by Big Pharma. Oh. So. Yeah, now that it's more art. Mm -hmm. Every other yeah. shop has it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know, know enough about it at all. But yeah, that no, would seem like to be the... And I wouldn't even smoke the pot unless... Yeah. I would really... <laughs> I had a dream about that the other night, too. Like, share, share, share. <laughs> it makes me stupid. So oh. I don't. Yeah. But yeah. when the time comes, that's what I would do. Yeah. So, that's it. Well, you know, I think it's interesting, you know, just being able to not rely on 
bigger companies for stuff like, you know, like being able to choose what you want. I think that's the nice thing about, we were talking earlier about having something like this. It's like you have an alternative if you would like, Mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to go with one thing. And that's what we were talking about with the panels is like, it's an option for, it's a choice versus not having a choice. And Mm -hmm. what does that choice look like? Like, even if you didn't want it, you had the choice to get it. If you, you know, that, that freedom of choice. So it's interesting. I think, I think it's the, um, power company is the only way. And even then they really don't say too much about it. Mm -hmm. Um, they need to get more stuff out there. More information. Yeah. More good information into yeah. people. So they put it on Facebook. They might read it. Facebook, yeah. No, I. That's a lot of people. Or there's tons of ways to reach people. That's for sure. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, so. it's an interesting suggestion. 